How's it going everyone? So I wanted to talk about something I've been kind of working on and I'm basically building out a web API where you can upload a zip file that contains a bunch of kind of zipped up images and it's going to take those images and randomly create you a bunch of NFTs. Keep in mind this application is really in alpha state. Like it probably has tons of bugs but it is deployed to nft-magic.thewebdevjunkie.com. I'll put the link in the description if you want to try it out. But the idea is basically you can go here and you can go upload a zip assuming that it has a config file in it. So you have a zip that has a config file. It kind of tells the API how many images you want to generate. And then also you kind of specify the ordering of the layers, right? So you can say like order of backgrounds, eggs, designs, shines. And it's going to look through that zip and find the folders that correspond and generate an NFT by grabbing random images from those folders. And keep in mind, I am just using Hashlip's art engine behind the scenes. I'm, I kind of gutted a bunch of the code out of it and just kept it as simple as possible. So you can still specify rarities by doing this hash symbol. So on your files, you can say like gold hat is super rare. So do like hash symbol of one, but then other images might be more common. So like I said, like red hat of hash of 20 or 200.png. And then finally you make your zip. So this is the kind of like the final structure of your zip and you can upload it. So what I'm gonna show you right here is if I have a zip, let me go ahead and go to my layers. I got some layers here. I'm gonna go ahead and modify that config and I only wanna do like 1,000 right now. I don't wanna do 10,000 because it might take a while in the video. I'm gonna go ahead and say layers.zip. I'm gonna make up a zip file that has all those images. And then going back to this application, I'm going to go ahead and upload that. So let's just go ahead and click on that file. And I want to make sure that locally I am running. So I, we should see some console logs pop up over here. Just go ahead and upload this and see what happens. So you'll see the back end, back end got a request to generate some NFTs. It's running over all of them. It's creating a thousand of them. And at some point it should finish and my UI should get a zip. Right. It, it might take a little bit of time because I am still trying to work out how to make this as performant as possible since, you know, generating a zip of a thousand files can kind of be time consuming and resource expensive. But if this doesn't crash, it's like right now it's actually generate the zip. I need to go through and try to figure out a way to make this a much faster. Um, yeah, I just need to figure out how to make this faster. I don't know if there is a way to make it faster, but now it's zipping up the stuff. Uh, and then at some point it should finish. Done with all the images, all the JSON, it's finalizing the zip. All right, so now it's going to send back the zip to the user here. I can open up that collections file. And you can see that it has a bunch of files. It has some JSON files kind of describing the NFT images. It kind of shows like what traits are in those images here. And then also we actually have the image. So that is basically what I've been working on. Anyone can kind of go on and try to use this. There is a rate limiting setup, so you can only do like one request per minute. I don't have any like other, I've been meaning to add some other limits to make sure that people don't like just spam my server and crash it because I'm pretty sure you, pretty, you, you could do it pretty easily. So at this point, the next steps are basically make this more performant because I want to make this zip kind of be created as fast as possible. Uh, before I was trying to write all the files to disk and like writing a thousand files or 10,000 files to disk was taking a decent amount of time and then also having to like zip them all up and then send them back over the wire. It's like you're taking stuff from memory, putting it on disk just to take it back into memory to send it to the client. So instead I found this, uh, this open source project where I can basically create an archive from images in memory. So I've been kind of playing around with that to make it a lot faster and probably more efficient. Again, this will probably crash my server if your zip file gets too big. So I don't, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I can look into. But they give you a quick little overview of the code if you're interested. So they give you an overview. I'm using Express. I have a collections endpoint that takes a post request. I'm allowing the user to upload a single file called file. And then I call a function to basically generate that zip file. And if it crashes, I send back a 500 response. So let's go ahead and look at this route here and kind of dive through what's going on. I need to clean this up a lot. But basically, we make a file or we make a directory called collections. And then we unzip the thing that the person uploaded to that file. And then we basically delete the zip. And then we read in the config here and we want to kind of uh, parse it because they're sending in just some string. It's a config file that needs to be parsed. 
but we parse that to JSON and then we basically start generating the NFT. So this is what's doing kind of the hash lips code behind the scenes. Again, I, I reduce it to like a more minimal hash lips code. I kind of stripped away all the code that wasn't necessary just to keep it really simple. And when that's done, we get a list of images that we need to zip up and a list of metadata that we need to zip up. And again, this is all memory. So at some point the server might crash if you try to upload a zip that has like a thousand images. But basically we take that and we need to set up an archiver, right? So there's an archiver npm package that you can pass files and our pin files and it's gonna put it into a zip file. So I set up an archiver and I say, hey, I need to put that zip file in this location. And then we basically, if I collapse this, we start appending all those files here. So we append all the images and we also append all the metadata. This is, I don't know if this is the most performant way. You saw that it took a while to append all those images. Maybe I can do this in a more asynchronous fashion. I'm not really sure. I need to figure that out. But whenever this is done, we call finalize, which is going to basically go up here and call close. And then we can send back the zip file via a res dot or res dot send file. This is like built into Express where you can send files back to the user. So we just send that zip back to the user and we get the user to download down here. The, the zip file will pop up down here in the downloads. So that's what I've been kind of working on. I want to kind of build more upon this and make it more performance. And also I want to kind of add in the ability to preview your NFTs without having to like download the zip again. Maybe bring in React, make it a lot cleaner, give, uh, you know, alerts, modals and stuff like that when your stuff is done processing, maybe progress bars. But that's what I've been working on. I haven't decided if I want to upload this code yet um, because I might actually want to do something with this and maybe accept some like payment with Ethereum or Bitcoin or something. But that's the first step. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment below if you have a certain feature that you want to see added to this NFT magic generator. And like always, if you're new to this channel, please press that subscribe button and that bell icon to see more videos in the future when I publish more content. Well, cool. have a good day and happy coding.